In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the layered combi stencil set Sunburst, along with the Mica Magic, to create a beautiful glittery background with the triple layer pattern going through. So I'm going to move that out of the way and bring in a piece of card I've cut to size. And again, this size is marked on the magnetic colour base for you, and it's A6. So I've cut this card, it's a piece of white A4 card, and I've cut that into four sections. So it's roughly four and an eighth of an inch by five and three quarter inches. But again, you can use any side of, size of card that you want to. Um, it's just easier at first to use the set sizes as they fit exactly where the designs are. So I'm going to bring in my first layer, and again, I'm using the largest layer in the set. And I'm just going to pop my little pigs into each of the holes to hold the stencil in place. And I don't know why I always try and do this flat. It's always easier to do it from above. So we're just going to pop those in. And again, what I would suggest is that you use all five of these that come in the set. For speed on this demo, I'm just using two at the top and bottom. But again, you'll find at home it's a little bit easier using the five. I'm going to secure down the card using a magnet and you can use other magnets that you may have. So if you've got other magnets, you, they will work just as well if you really want to make sure you hold that completely securely. I'm going to bring in my Mica Magic and I'm using the Basic Brights palette for this one. And I'm going to take one of the Crafts 2 finger daubers and I want to work from a light colour to a dark colour. So I'm going to start with this sort of lightish coloured green, pick some up on my dauber and just colour through the stencil. So we're going to go through, picking up the mica and colouring through. And the thing that I find with these is Mica Magic is the easiest and the quickest way to get the backgrounds on this. They look the most effective when they're done this way. So going through just with the mica until I've got a nice coverage. And again, you can mix colors in here, but I'll be showing you that in the next demo. So I want to simply take this stencil off and switch down to the next stencil in the set. You can see there I've got that background and I could use that as it stands. I'm going to take the next one, pop it on, put my little pegs into their holes again. This is probably the most time consuming thing you will do is actually changing, certainly when using the Mica Magic, is changing the little pegs. So we'll get those in, there we go. Pressed in, I'm going to hold my card down again. And I'm going to take my dauber, and because I'm using Mica Magic, I can use the same dauber. So I went with that greeny color. I'm now going to go with this bluey color. I'm going to get a really nice peacocky look. So I'm going to work over again and the Mica Magic works on top of itself, it doesn't reactivate. So I'm just going to go through each colour. As I said, this is the quickest way to do it. Picking up colour each time. And you can spend that little bit more time getting solid on that or getting different colours and different shades running through. So we'll go through, we'll take this one off. So move your magnets off. You can see there, I've gone from that beautiful green to that beautiful sort of turquoisey blue. I'm going to bring the final stencil in the layer set in. Again, pop my little pegs back in. So just top and bottom for speed. And you'll see what they, these are designed so that the stencil sits in exactly the right place. And what I love about this sunburst stencil so if you can see, there's no hole in the center in any of the others. The hole is only on the last one. So it gives that little bit of extra detail. So this time I'm going to go into the purple color and I'm just going to work that in on top. And each stencil is the same density. So they are built, I think it's about 300 microns. So you'll find that it's not too deep but also if you want to use your texture pastes, your eyes ink ice or your eyes ink diamonds or any of your sort of texture pastes, 
they'll work beautifully through this because there is enough of a depth to be able to take the texture paste. So just going to go through with the final one, work that through and we'll take those off again. The magnets come off, take our little pegs out, take our stencil off and we've got there the most beautiful three layer with a lovely sheen to it and it's got a real sort of peacock look to it this when you catch the light it's got that beautiful sheen from mica magic and the colors are all defined and definite